Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we are going to be doing our second cash stuffing of January. If you guys are new here, I have been following the cash envelope budgeting system since about uh, August 2021, so about a year and a half of doing this system. And it's been my favorite because I'm the type of person that needs to actually see my money in order to grasp that I need to budget it and build out a financial plan uh, for each paycheck. So that's what I do here with you guys. But without further ado, let's just get right into it. And today we are actually going to start off with our sinking funds because I thought that we would try something a little bit different today. I needed to switch things up. It's a new year, so why not try something a little bit more fun? All right, so starting off with hair, we are going to be putting $5 in hair today. And I've mentioned this before, but I am paying off a little bit of credit card debt that I accumulated. I do plan to have this a video, a debt confession, confession video out by either end of this week or end of next week. It just depends on what my schedule looks like. Um, but yeah, I want to really show you guys and be transparent in that aspect because budgeting is not perfect and it's something that I'm constantly working on. I personally think that I have a spinning problem, but it's something that we are trying to fix. And honestly, I feel like I should go to therapy for. We will see. Okay, hair has 10, 15, 20, and $25. And I just got my hair cut and toned, so just saving up for the next thing. I will say, I think I'm a little bit low on shampoo. So if you guys have any low um, cost recommendations for shampoos that are good, let me know and good for color too. Comment those down below. All right, next up is aesthetics and we are putting $5 in there. And I don't have anything on the books right now for aesthetics. So right now we're just starting to build this back up a little bit. So it has 20, 30, 35, 40, and $45. And just so you guys know, aesthetics is for anything um, cosmetic. Like if I want to get a facial, if I want to get a massage, or like something self self care that's outside of hair and nails, it will fall under aesthetics. Next up is Christmas, and we are going to be putting a big old $20 in Christmas because I have just been putting $10 and I just really wanna make it a priority so that I have at least 500 saved up in a short period of time. I'll just feel so much better having that in my HYSA and just having that in case something goes wrong, if you know what I mean. So Christmas has 20, 30, and $40, which I'm very happy about. We are not even at the end of January, so already have a present for someone in there. Next up is gifting and that's going to be getting $50 this week because my boyfriend's birthday is in the beginning of February, which is very soon. So I need a lot more money in that envelope than I have right now. So that's going to be a focus point until the second week of February. So gifting has one, two, 250 and three. Uh, my budget there is 500. That's the usual budget that my boyfriend and I have for each other for things like um, for things like birthdays and for Christmas. We don't usually buy each other like anniversary gifts or anything. Um, so yeah. Next up is car and we are going to be putting five dollars in car because I have been putting a little bit more in this envelope than I have in my others. So I figured now is the time to give Carr the $5 treatment and give some of my other envelopes a little bit more love. So Carr has one, two, three, four, 450, 455, 460, and 465. And part of the reason I've been trying to put more into Carr is because I wanna get it to that $500 mark really bad, not even for a specific reason, just for satisfaction of being able to put the $500 slip in there, which I know is very silly, but that's just how I think. Next up is vacation, and we're going to be putting $10 in vacation. I do have two uh, trips coming up in June and July, potentially one in February, but I told my boyfriend, I was like, if we go in February, it's going to have to be like my birthday gift because it's kind of a more expensive trip and I obviously don't have the funds to cover that right now. So going to also try to make this a focus point, but you can only make so many envelopes a priority when you have so much money. So trying to do what I can with what I have. 
So Vacation has 50, 70, 80, and $85 in there, which I am still very happy about. I am not going to complain about $85. It is better than zero. Next up is Luxury, and we are going to be putting $5 in Luxury as well. Honestly, I probably should have just skip, skipped stuffing this envelope or put like a couple of dollars in there, but I didn't. We'll see next week. So Luxury has one, 150, 170, 190, 195, and we are at 200, which is really exciting. I only have $200 in here, but I do like still look at Luxury bags because that would be what I want to purchase. And I saw one from YSL that's so beautiful, but it is like $2,000 and I'm sure with the prices of everything going up, it's just going to get more and more expensive uh, as the time accumulates. So eventually, if that's a year or two down the line, I'll have enough money for a bag in this envelope, but that is ultimately the goal. This is a long-term seeking fund. Next up is business and we are putting $5 in business. So guys, big news here. I bought my new camera and I'm so excited. It was a huge purchase, but I'm really excited about it because I really want to step up the quality of my videos. And as I mentioned before, I also want to start vlogging and just creating other types of content for you guys. That's, you know, not just cash stuffing. So let me know if you guys would be interested in it. I know I mentioned it before and you guys said that you'd want to see it, but um, let me know. Um, I know Budget Me Alex, I believe is her name and I'll put her down below. She mentioned that she was going to do a separate channel for vlogs. So if that's something that you're interested in that you'd want me to do, just let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I bought, I bought my camera. I did not, I'm not using it right now because frankly, I haven't quite figured it out yet. So once I figure it out, I should by next week, then I should have a better quality video by next week. That's the goal. So starting from scratch here. Next up is membership and we're putting $10 in there and that is just any sort of subscription that I have. So my HBO Max, things like that. And I also, whenever I do set up my camera, I wanna make a video for you guys outlining the bills that I pay and also things that I put into my HYSA every month and also my investment accounts. I don't really talk about it much in my cash stuffings just because it's something that I don't take out in cash. So I, I don't know, but I feel like you guys would enjoy it. So plan is to have that sort of video up by end of February, but we will see because I do put money in different places. I do have bills. I have my HYSA that I put money into. And then I also have my personal investments, which are separate from my retirement funds that I put money into and make priority every single week. So lots of different things going on. Lots of different goals for 2023 too, that's for sure. I have so many videos that I wanna make for you guys. So I'm just excited. Okay, next up is house and that's going to be getting $10 today. And this is house savings or moving expenses. Depends on which one comes first. And we are starting off small, but hope to increase it to something bigger. So house has one, 120, 130, and 140. So I've also been considering making like a wedding fund. No, I am not married. There is not a ring on my finger or engaged, whatnot. But I've just been seeing so many TikToks about how expensive weddings are nowadays. So I'd want to be prepared when that comes. So I don't know. I'm considering it. If you guys had a sinking fund for wedding, let me know how far you saved in advance for that. Next up is tax and that's going to be getting $5. And as I mentioned before, uh, my income is already taxed. So what I'm taking out has already been taxed, but this is towards TurboTax because I always have that like $60 fee which I hate taking out of my tax return that I usually get for some reason. So I'd rather just save up the money every week and have and have the money there to be able to pay that fee. So five, 10 and $15, we should need around $60 in there, but I don't plan on really filing my taxes until probably the end of February, because that's probably when I will be receiving my forms from work in order to be able to file those tax. Uh, the tax information. Okay, now we have our cash envelopes. All right, next up is food and we are putting $120 in there. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120. I believe, yeah, that's right. Oh, actually, I think I might have done two tens. Nope, we're good here. So 120 in food this week, and me and my boyfriend talked about it. We are trying, we're going to try to be better about spending in this category because it's just been getting out of control, especially with how healthy we eat on a normal basis. I mean, Saturday, of course, we'll have our pizza or our Chick-fil-A, but usually we try to live a pretty clean lifestyle. And if I'm being honest, it's, it's so expensive. Like we went to get like one onion or like two bell peppers and it was like over three or $4, which is crazy. I mean, that's just one ingredient in a meal, if you know what I mean. So we are gonna try to be better about that in the new year. I'm going to try to be better about um, giving myself enough money and also just accounting for what we're going to eat during the week and kind of make a plan. That way we don't have to go run to Publix every couple of days. So anyway, that's that. Next up is going to be stock up and that is going to be getting $10. And we do not have anything in this envelope now. So we are starting from scratch here. Next up is spending and that's going to be getting $10. And we should have a little bit left over. Yeah, we have $10 left over there. So that's a total of $20 in spending. Next up is house and this is household. So we're gonna be putting $10 in that envelope this week. So we have a total of 15 in household. Next up is health and we are putting $5. So I believe I need to buy some pre-workout. So I might be using some of this money, but the pre-workout I usually get is like $40, which is out of control as well. So I'm going to try to find one that I like a little bit better of a price that's not like Celsius because I've heard Celsius is actually really bad for you. So let me know if you guys have a recommendation down in the comments below. Okay, health has 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So my usual pre-workout I get is $40. So definitely not enough to cover that, but I definitely think I can find one that's a little bit better of a price and get that for around $30. I don't know, maybe I'll just go to GNC and see what they have and talk to the people there. Next up is nails and that's going to be getting $20. So I did have a pedicure planned for the 18th, but I think I'm going to cancel that just because I don't think I need it. So even though I have the appointment scheduled, I think I need to be better about canceling something if I don't need it, especially when I'm trying to pay off debt. So I think I just need to get my dip on the 18th, which we should have enough money to cover that. So nails has 20, 40, 60, 65, and 70. So yes, that is definitely enough for just my normal dip. My nails are still looking great. Um, I love this style because when they grow out, it doesn't look so obvious that they grew out because it's just like a neutral color. So I honestly think I might just go with the same style again. I don't know, it's my new favorite. Next up is makeup and that's going to be getting $5 and it's going to be our final envelope of the day. So makeup has five, 10, 15, and $20 in there. Don't need anything right now, but as I'm sure you guys are probably not aware, but as you guys, this probably happens to you guys sometimes too, but whenever you watch like TikTok or scroll on Instagram, you just get influenced by random things that you probably shouldn't buy. So leaving that money there in case that happens. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, wonderful rest of the day, whenever you are watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.